welcome welcome back to Storm and Omen Reviews been a while I understand that it's been a while but you know what in the time now I've put up two reviews about a month or two ago and uh, I think that got me two new subscribers <laughs> so I'm up to eight now something like that actually it might have been more than two I don't know but all 80 y'all still sticking around so I appreciate that maybe we'll get some more after we do this review um, I got stuff I want to review as soon as I get time uh, I don't have it here in front of me yeah this is something just a real quick so y'all know what's coming up on the channel and I looked for this because I had this idea for a while and I looked for it on a uh, YouTube I couldn't find anything really I found like one thing but I wanted to make a EDC vape kit so I got this Maxpedition organizer thing so I could throw some vape gear in it and didn't really work out the way I wanted it to because of the straps being different and whatnot but anyway got me some juice right there Got me one of those disposable sub ohm tanks. Got me an extra coil, mesh coil for the Freemax. Got some batteries and whatnot. And, you know, but you know, this is still a work in progress. But when it gets done, I want to throw that video up so everybody can see my EDC baby. I might have to buy a different organizer because that one didn't quite work out like I thought it was going to. But nonetheless, I got a Trinity glass cap. I want to do a review on that and you know I got uh, I think I was I don't know if I did it or not do a review on the Basium and I got the Pulse X RDA on top of that I want to do a review for so I got plenty of stuff to review just not plenty of time to review it in so uh, but December like I said this ain't my only YouTube channel my podcast I got my podcast and I'm wrapping up season two uh, at the end of this month. So come December, I'll have the whole month of December of off from a podcast in between seasons. And I plan on getting some reviews and stuff up then. I'm trying to get caught up on my reviews and stuff. And hopefully in the new year we can set up I can set up some kind of schedule where I can get reviews up. Because I enjoy reviews. I don't care, you know, People on YouTube, uh, they try to get you know all these subscribers and whatnot. And I don't want to just do vape reviews either. I don't want to be that guy. Although I know it probably seems like it at this point. But I like vaping. I like buying vape stuff. So I like watching vape reviews. So might as well do reviews on vape stuff. I also got to do a review on that holster where I did the unboxing because I've you know I've spent several months with that thing now. So that better uh, light tuck, I think it's called, holster. I still use it every day. So I need to do a review on that. And some knives. I got some knives I want to do reviews on too. So not all just vape stuff. I'm going to try and mix it up here. And uh, But today it is vape stuff. Today, the Geek Vape Aegis Legend. I've been wanting one of these. Because, you know, I got the original Aegis. And that's cool, but... 100 watts single battery don't exactly last me all day so when they came out with this one I was like man I gotta have that I gotta have that it's dual 18650s that's what I'm talking about so I got it uh, I worked some overtime last month at work my new job I just started I worked a bunch of overtime had a humongous check so I was like you know what I'm gonna treat myself so I ordered one of these and I've not been disappointed not been disappointed got the dead rabbit on top of it at the moment you know how my uh, reviews go we're not technical not we're gonna be practical not technical I'm not gonna take it through the box to show you what's in the box because honestly I don't care what comes in the box there's other people you can watch you want to know what's in the box I'm not gonna take it through the menu because honestly I don't even I don't go through the menu you know I just use wattage set my wattage good to go but I just want to give reviews of 
how it's holding up, how it, how it's working out in everyday normal people life. I don't review the mail either. I don't get it and take it out and be like, okay, let's look at this. That's fine for other reviewers. It works for them. Don't work for me. But Geek Vape Aegis Legend, I got the green one. Uh, just because it kind of reminds me of OD Green and I like OD Green. Yes, the strip tip don't match my light on my camera. I don't have any batteries for it. so This is the best I can do. So, uh, waterproof shop, you know, you know the spill. Now, what they did to this one that I like that they didn't do with the last one is this flap here on the top where you peel the flap. And I've never done this, actually. I've had it for like a month now. Boom, you peel that, you peel that flap up and there's your USB. Now, I don't use the USB, that's why I've never opened it. But I'm glad that they put it somewhere where you can just flip this tab up and get to it. Unlike the old one where you had people like, there's no USB on this thing. Like, there is, but you got to unscrew the cap on it to get to it. And that's kind of a pain in the butt if you ever want to update the firmware or charge it, which I wouldn't recommend. But this one's kind of dirty. But uh, so I've taken this to work and I have a dirty job. I'm a landscaper. And uh, the cup holder in the mower, I actually just put it in the cup holder and let it ride. It gets all covered in grass and some nonsense. And I got back, the first day I brought it to work, and got back at the end of the day about the clock out and I go home. I took my Addy off the top and just ran it under the sink. Washed all the dirt and grime off of it and dried it off with a towel. Now I will say, the first time when I did that, it got water underneath the screen cover here. It got some water up under there. Uh, and I could see it because I couldn't wipe it off and it was still there. But it went away eventually and I've washed it off since then. And I've not had the same problem. So I don't know why I did it that one time. But uh, it did. Another thing I hear people complain about uh, on the uh, vape groups I'm in and whatnot is that the batteries don't drain evenly. Now I've not had that problem with mine. Uh, they're about the same. I mean this ain't going to show up on camera. Focus hands. If you can see that. They drain pretty evenly uh, for me I've not had a problem with one draining more than the other but I got Tricor Fuse Claptons and the uh, Dead Rabbit here Nichrome 80 because Nichrome 80 is my jam let me wet that up with some Blueberry Jam Monster because Jam Monster is also my jam 0.16, 82 watts. And like all Geek Bait products, the ramp up time is there. I mean, it ramps up. Not gonna say it's the fastest thing I have as far, I got like 40 something mods. I'm not gonna say it's the fastest ramp up time of all the mods I have, but it's up there, you know, top five probably. And uh, they also, I never had a problem with this, but I know some people that used to, when the original ages come out, people would beat the tar out of it. And the little plates here would pop off. Well, they made it, there's no split there. So instead of having two plates that they bolted on, this whole thing is just one that bolts on there. So it's a lot harder for it to pop off. I don't think I've dropped it. I might have dropped it once. But the, the awesome thing is, at my job, I'm either riding around on a lawnmower or a golf cart. And I stick this in an old dirty, raggedy old cup holder on the cart or the uh, mower before I blew up the one that had a cup holder on it. But, uh, and it just sits there, you know how mowers are. If you, 
is jumping around it's rolling around back and forth and the rubberized coating is not scratched the metal none of the paint is scratched off of it the leather still it still looks like when I pulled it out of the box like a month ago I think it was I got it about a month ago and the 510 you know it it has like these rings I don't know if that helps anything but it's got the rings around it so it's a fantastic little mod if you had the uh, original one I love the original one it's just that the dang batteries wasn't gonna last me all and 100 watts just ain't I like to vape at 80 so a 100 watt device and I'm vaping at 80 that's not I will last very long. I even bought the adapter cap for the old one to uh, put the 2700s and 2170s in it. And that helped battery life a little bit, but still wasn't terrible. My one gripe, probably my only gripe about, well, two gripes I got about this. The rubberized coating is great, but as you know, when you stick this in your pocket and you try to pull it out with that rubber grip on it, you're going to take your whole pocket out. The whole pocket's going to come out with it. Or if you even get it past, you know, the lip of your jeans there. So that's the problem. And the battery door is spring-loaded. Let me take this off so it don't leak all over me. Battery door pops open. Great. Fantastic. And uh, But the only problem I have with this is when you go to close it you want to close it right there correct that would be the most easy way to make sure you get pressure on it to close it but you can't because the latch is there so if you try to push it you're pushing the latch open so it won't close so you have to kind of use the space around the latch and grab it like that or push it from up here above the latch to close it because you can't that the one area you would want to put your finger is going to prevent you from shutting the battery door if you're just trying to snap it closed real quick so that and rubberized coating is my only gripe I don't think it's heavy a lot of people complain about it being heavy I don't think it's that heavy maybe I just like heavy mods that's another thing geek vape could change when you open the battery door and then close it the mods off it doesn't come on automatically. I like it when the mod comes on automatically so that's th that's it here's the box it comes in Aegis Legend Mod 200 Watt the Indestructible Beast IP67 water and dust resistant high shock resistance upgraded AS chip fast and accurate Colored display screen power with dual 18650s. It is the same old tired screen that Geek Vape uses on everything. Maybe someday they'll update it. Who knows? But that is the Aegis Legend. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. If you need a mod that you're not scared to beat to death. And I'll tell you what I did. I ordered some of those like I just showed you. Those disposable sub ohm tanks. The new new ones. And I got to think to myself, how awesome would this be? Indestructible mod, you know, indestructible mod. So you're not going to break it in normal in normal use. Put one of those disposable tanks on top. You got it. If you drop it, you ain't going to break the mod. If you drop it and you break the tank, who cares? It's a disposable tank. So it's like the perfect work setup if you have like a, a dirty job like I have. So. That's the Aegis Legend from Geek Vape. Hope that helped you out. If it did, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll get some more stuff up very shortly. Thanks for watching Storm and Omen Reviews.